Okay, today we'll be opening up this Fram Extra Guard oil filter, number PH4967, and this Denso oil filter, number 150-2000. And you can get this Fram Extra Guard filter at Walmart for $4.17. And I got this Denso oil filter at Rock Auto for $3.72 plus shipping. But you may be able to find these cheaper somewhere else. And these two filters, I got to duke it out. Could get ugly, folks. When the dust clears, we'll see who the winner is. So let's get started. This is a network. You gotta do the silicone. Be nice and tight. Get your hammer here. Filtration. Okay, let's start with the frame. We'll start with the box. Look back here. We'll see proven protection up to 10,000 miles. Silicone and drain back valve. Look down here. We'll see the particles greater than 20 microns. And on their website, it says 95%. So 95% particles greater than 20 microns. All right, let's open up the box, see what this filter looks like. Date code is somewhere over here. A20062, made in USA, nitro rubber gasket, 10 inlet holes, and metal core with holes, bypass valve down below. And as you can see, this is supposed to have a silicone and drain back valve, but it's got, it's black. So I, I did a test on one of these before, and I'll put a link down below to where I, I made a video out of this filter. Okay, let's go to the Denso. The Denso is over here. Durable steel housing, reliable anti drain back valve. Special formulated rubber O-ring delivering a leak resistant seal. We look down here, made in China. All right, let's open it up. And the date code, ME21. It's got this plastic covering on it. Eight inlet holes. Looks to be a nitro rubber anti drain back valve. Metal core with holes. Bypass valve down below. And this is their O-ring gasket they're talking about. Yeah, it fits right in these grooves. Let's check out the threads against these guys. Yeah, the frame looks like it's got more threads. Base, two different base plates. Both those are about the same size and height. Okay, let's open these filters up and uh, see what they look like inside. Be right back. Okay, here they are cut open. Let's get their weights. The Denso weighs 221.5 grams. The Fram weighs 163.3 grams. Let's take a look at the gaskets. Denso on the right, Fram on the left. Totally two different kind of gaskets. Base plates, let's see. 85.5 grams for the Denso and the Fram weighs 78.6 grams. Let's get them up close here. You got more inlet holes for the Fram. And the threads are about even. Even. So, yeah, that looks good. And nitro rubber anti drain back valves, which this, the Fram should be should be a silicone, but it's not. Um, that I think because of the COVID, they might have ran into some kind of uh, supply issues, but okay, and the filter elements. The Denso weighs 68.7 grams. Fram weighs 29.3 grams. Let's start with the Fram. Fram's got a metal crimp seam. I counted 45 pleats. And this is a cellulose synthetic blend media. I'm getting all the information off of Fram's website and it filters uh, at 95% at t particles greater than 20 microns. Get your fiber end caps here. They're glued on, they're glued on good. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, and the Denso. Okay, the Denso oil filter. We've got metal end caps, bypass valve right here. 
metal crimp seam. And on the Denso, I counted 67 pleats. And Rock Auto's website, this says that it has a dual layer paper media. And I couldn't find any micron rating. Looks nice and clean though. It's a very clean filter. Okay. And the Denso has a coil spring. And the frame has this kind of bypass valve. And the cans. The Denso weighs 55.4 grams. Fram weighs 37.6 grams. Let's get their thickness. The frame I was getting uh, 0.45 millimeters. Yeah, 0.43 millimeters. See, it's, it's it's good. It's you know 0.4 to 0.5 is what I usually get for average. And on the Denso, I was getting 0.60 millimeters thick, right there. 0.61, close enough. You can tell it's a thicker can. Definitely thicker. The Denso's got a lot more pleats, so I would have to say the Denso's going to have more filter media. What do you guys think? Okay, and I almost forgot to get the width on these guys. So the frame is 1.81 inches wide. Call that 1.82. And the Denso is 1.63 inches wide. And you can tell these caps are taking a little bit of space here. So you got to take that into consideration, I guess. But, I don't know. Let's cut these two filters open and uh, see what they look like. Be right back. Okay, here they are stretched out. And the Fram filter is 45 inches long. And the Denso oil filter is 59 inches long. Okay, let's get the thickness on these guys. We'll start with the Denso. 0.65 millimeters thick. And the Fram, 0.91 millimeters thick. Quite a bit thicker. Let's get these guys up close. And you can see the thickness difference here. You can feel it too. Let's take a look at these guys under a microscope. As you can see, the, the Denso is darker, but it's got like a lot of light spots, almost like holes. I would say the Fram's going to do a better filtering job than this Denso would. Now let's take a look at the rest of the filter. So they both got rubber, nitro rubber anti drain back valves, but normally this Fram would have a, this would be silicone normally, you know. So on most filters, it would be silicone. And I give the base plate to the frame just because it has more inlet holes. The bypass valve, that's a matter of preference. This got one in the bottom here. This one here. This one's at rated for 12 PSI. I don't know what this one is, but I'm similar. To, I would guess the Denso is similar. And one thing I wanted to point out about the Denso here, the holes. These holes are rough. You know. Will that do anything to your filter media? I don't know. I ran into another filter a couple weeks ago. Had the same thing. So in here they're smooth. Out here they're rough. So they're punching these holes out the wrong way if you ask me. They must be punching them in from this way. And then I don't know how they how they make these. But yeah, these are rough. Yeah. See if you go like this on it, you can see it's, it's kind of tearing into it. Now, will it do that when it's on the, you know, when it's all together? I don't know. It might. You can hear it. 
So that's something to take into consideration. I personally wouldn't use that, wouldn't use that filter just because of that. If you look at the frame, these are nice and smooth. Smaller holes, but they're smooth. And the can, I would give dents all the can. It's a thicker can. And you got metal end caps, fiber end caps, and two totally different gaskets, uh, type of gaskets, but I'm sure both work okay. You can tell they pre-lubed this one too. It's all oily. So what do you guys think about these two filters? And I think I'll wrap this video up. Don't forget, Oil Filter Fridays. I open up a new automotive oil filter every Friday on this YouTube channel. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching, and take care. The Fram Filter Media weighs 13.7 grams. The Denso Filter Media weighs 11 grams.